Hello and welcome to Mary Live. This is Dr. Mark Miravalli. My friends in Jesus and Mary, as we watch the ominous process of Russia technically beginning its invasion into the Ukraine, we can feel a certain sense of helplessness uh, about how we could possibly have some role in assisting the Ukraine as Russia is unfortunately violating international law and the sovereignty of the nation of the Ukraine. I believe we can, and I believe we can do that which is ultimately the most powerful thing to assist our Ukrainian brothers and sisters at this time. And I'm speaking about a prayer which I believe was inspired by the Holy Spirit through Our Lady for precisely this historical moment and precisely this type of ominous event. It is the prayer of the Lady of All Nations. My friends, this prayer is prayed all over the world, but it needs more people to be asking the Holy Spirit to descend through Our Lady's intercession at this critical time of human history. Let's go through the prayer very briefly. Uh, the prayer goes as follows. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Father, send now your Spirit over the earth. Let the Holy Spirit live in the hearts of all nations that they may be preserved from degeneration, disasters, and war. May the Lady of all nations, the Blessed Virgin Mary, be our advocate. Amen. So it's a prayer asking Jesus to send the Holy Spirit anew into the world, into the hearts of all nations, all peoples, in order to prevent degeneration, moral breakdown, natural disasters, of which there are more reported now than any other time in, in history, in a, in a limited period of history, and war. What we're doing here is really as if we have a new upper room where, as disciples of the Lord, we're asking Jesus to send the Holy Spirit anew through the intercession of Our Lady as advocate. What could possibly be wrong with that prayer? Why would we possibly not want to pray that prayer? We need the Holy Spirit through the Immaculate Heart of Mary so desperately on a, on our, in our age on a ubiquity of fronts. The moral front, the domestic front, the ecclesial front, the economic front, and now we're talking about the geopolitical front. We need the Holy Spirit through Our Lady. That's why I do not believe it's passivism to say the most powerful thing we can do is pray. I believe it to be supernatural realism. A realism that we have to uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, consent to, or arrive at, otherwise we will continue to fight this horizontally, that is, by our own human efforts. And I believe it is so important that we pray this prayer. I ask you to prayerfully consider memorizing this prayer. Probably take you 10 or 15 minutes to memorize it. So you can say it throughout the day. You could say it at the end of each decade of the rosary, or at least at the end of your rosary, let the Holy Spirit guide you how often to pray it, but I believe we have to be calling down the Holy Spirit anew through Our Lady to have a real response to what I believe is just the beginning. I do not believe this is the culmination, the climax, the summit of the chaos and the war and the de degeneration and the natural disasters. I believe, sadly, because of our sins, because of our refusal to accept the gospel of Jesus and his cross, which alone can save us, that we're just at the beginning. So I ask you to pray this prayer at least once daily, uh, but if possible, more often than that, because again, that's the ultimate response. That's the ultimate thing we can do. It takes a human humility to say, we are not going to clean up this world situation on our own. We need heavenly help. We need a supernatural intervention. And that comes through the beckoning of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit through Our Lady. St. Maximilian Kolbe is right. The Holy Spirit acts only through the Immaculata. That's how he brought us Jesus. That's how he's going to bring us a new manifestation of the redemption of Jesus in what Fatima called the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. So please pray this prayer and please spread this video to others that you know understand the signs of the times, that, that feel a, 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 a solidarity 
with the Ukrainian people during this time, uh, but don't know exactly what to do. Once again, I believe this is an inspired prayer given by the Spirit through Our Lady precisely for situations like this, which I believe have the probability uh, of escalating. And remember, it's a prayer to prevent or mitigate. When we say mitigate, we mean lessen the severity of things which otherwise we would have full justice because ultimately of the sin of humanity, the sins of abortion, the rejection of the gospel. And that means practically the potential of hundreds of thousands, if not millions of souls, even through mitigation. So let's three times now pray together the prayer of the Lady of All Nations. If you want it on a prayer card, we'll send it to you free of charge uh, anywhere in the world. Uh, you can email us at mary at motherofallpeoples.com. But also, it's, it's such a simple prayer. Uh, you can write it down just from this video. And once again, it's very short, but I believe it has a extraordinary power before the throne of God precisely to battle degeneration, disasters, and war. So let's do something real for the Ukrainian situation uh, and for what well might be an international situation as a result of this, let's ask Our Lady to intercede as only she can, as she did in the upper room, to have the Holy Spirit descend anew with a new Pentecost, a new release of grace, which is essentially part of what the triumph of the Immaculate Heart is and will be, but we'll be doing our part and that is to faithfully prayer. So for the situation in the Ukraine in particular now, let us three times pray together the prayer of the Lady of All Nations. And again, I beseech you, please pass this video on to other people who you know have a sensitivity of what's happening in the Ukraine, who you know are people of prayer, have an understanding of the signs of the times and how critically we need Our Lady she is the remedy, my friends. She's not just a statue on the side to light a candle to. As wonderful as that is, she's the remedy. And so we have to go to her until we realize that, I believe the situation will escalate without the mitigation or the prevention Our Lady alone can bring. So let's pray three times the prayer of the Lady of All Nations for the situation in Ukraine. And I also encourage you, to continue to pray for the fifth Marian dogma, which is ultimately acknowledging that she is the remedy, that Our Lady, the spiritual mother of all peoples, the co-redemptrix, mediatrix, and advocate, the mother who suffers, the mother who nourishes, the mother who pleads for us, as she did in the early church, in, 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 the, in, the, in the second, third century with the subtum prayer, we fly to your patronage, O Holy Mother of God, etc. They got it then, we need it now. So let's pray these prayers for the situation in Ukraine, as well as for the proclamation of the truth of Our Lady as the spiritual mother of all peoples, as the Corydemtrix, Mediatrix, and Advocate, so that she can fully exercise her spiritual power to bring grace, the, the graces that can only come from the Holy Spirit through her Immaculate Heart. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Father, Send now your Spirit over the earth. Let the Holy Spirit live in the hearts of all nations, that they may be preserved from degeneration, disasters, and war. May the Lady of all nations, the Blessed Virgin Mary, be our advocate. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Father, send now your Spirit over the earth. Let the Holy Spirit live in the hearts of all nations, that they may be preserved from degeneration, disasters, and war. May the Lady of all nations, the Blessed Virgin Mary, be our advocate. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Father, send now your Spirit over the earth. Let the Holy Spirit live in the hearts of all nations, that they may be preserved from degeneration, disasters, and war. May the Lady of all nations, the Blessed Virgin Mary, be our advocate. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for praying with me. Please be apostles of this prayer. 
getting this out to people throughout the world. We need a new Pentecost that will happen through the intercession of Our Lady and through the power of this prayer so that we can have a new descent of the Spirit, a, a triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and eventually the Fatima promised era of peace. God bless you all.